Well, in the 60s, um, they, they were good times um, for Preston. Didn't start off too well in the early 60s, as I can remember Tom Finney retiring then. Um, the club hadn't planned for anything after Tom Finney. When he went, basically there was nothing. Um, my father always used to say to me, because a lot of Preston fans stopped going on when Tom Finney retired. And I was a new supporter then, being very keen to go on. And they'd say to me, well, what, it's a waste of time. Why are you going on Preston North End, you know? Um, you know, you know Tom, there's no Tom Finney anymore and the club's going downhill. And I said, because I don't want the club to die. That's why I'm going on. And there may be only be three or 4,000 people. Um, but the question I used to put back to them is, yes, you did have Tom Finney, you did have 30, 40,000 gates, but where did all the money go? Because the players, they weren't getting the money. The stadium hadn't changed in 50 years and didn't change from then for another 30 years. Um, so it, I always wonder um, where actually all the money went. Because Preston were getting 40,000 gates. Not only were they getting the 40,000 gates, they were going to places like Man City with 60 and 75,000 people there and getting half the gate. Uh, going back to your early question about working people, the clubs have got so greedy now. You go to Man United, you don't get anything. They take all the money. The gates in the early days were split between the two teams, and, and quite rightly so. I think if you're entertaining in front of 60,000 people, I think you deserve half the gate money. Um, but the 60s became um, quite a good um, the middle 60s anyway with Preston getting to the uh, FA Cup final in 64 um, tremendous for me as a young lad to, to go to Wembley and then um, they finally got the, the support back Howard Kendall coming into the team and one of my favourite players um, Alex Dawson and, um, so they got beat by West Ham 3-2 um, I think, it, as all those finals do, I think it changed Preston's fate. After that, they faded away again and went on a demise into the late 60s and into the 70s. So, started well in the 60s. Sorry, didn't start too well in the 60s. Great middle part and then faded away again in the late 60s, which seems to be Preston's type of form throughout the, the different decades.